Let's take this example. Create a simple class called number which performs the below function. It takes an integer input called num. It contains a method called even and odd which returns a string called even when the input is even and odd when the input is odd. Next, create unit test case to test the method. Open Visual Studio and click on create a new project. I will search for console. Make sure to select console app.net framework. Hit next. I will give the name number system and click create. This creates a new solution called number system having a project called number system. This project has our main program. Let's create our class called number. Right click add class. I will select here class number and click add. This class will contain my integer number and the method which check even or odd. So since I'm going to test this class, I will change it to public. Next, I will create my variable num. Next, I will create the constructor called number which will take the input so this constructor will initialize our variable num next i will create the method called even and odd which will return a string this method will check if the number is divisible by 2 will return as even if not odd so this completes our class with our variable and method let's test it if it works or not so we go to our program class and we will create a object of the class i'm going to pass a value called 10 console dot right line and one dot even and odd so i call the even and odd method if everything is okay we should be seeing a message called even let's build our program and run we click on build solution and our program build successfully i'm going to click this and run my program you can see it printed even so we know our our program is working next step we're gonna write unit test for this program we need two tests one for even one for odd for that we're gonna create a new project we will right click on solution and click add new project we have to add class library dot net framework so choose this option hit next name it number test and click create we want to keep our test separate from our main program now this test project need some dependencies like it needs n unit and microsoft test sdk so let's install them so we will select on project nuget packages and we'll click on browse type here n unit select n unit click install next select n unit 3 test adapter click install next search here test choose microsoft.net test sdk click install install you can see our four dependencies for this test framework we will click now close next step we have to put a reference of our project in our test project so we will click on references right click add reference and we will select our number system and click ok so we did two things first of all we created a test project called number test we add a reference to our project number system and we installed an unit and microsoft test SDK to test our application. Let's import those classes to our test project. We will write using an unit dot framework and next I need my number system using number system. So let's create our test cases. We need to refer the class as test fixture so that the application will understand this is a test class. Now let's create two tests inside it. This method will test even number. We need to annotate with test. Similarly, this method will test for odd numbers. So we have now two methods, one for even, one for odd. Let's provide the values. So we expect this method to test even number. So I will write next, let's find the actual. So number n1 equal to new number i'm going to pass here the value let's say 16 next actual equal to even and odd so i call now my even and odd method then we will run our asset asset are equal so expected and actual if they are equal it means it is working perfect similarly for the next one i will just copy this one and paste it here i'll change it to odd and pass a input of let's say five so now when we pass five and we run this method i should be getting odd and if they are equal this is a 
pass. Sorry, I forget to put a semicolon here. Let's run this test case. We'll click test and click on run all test. If you see here, it says to pass. So both my test cases have pass. Let's fail one test case and see what happens. I will make this as even. Now, this is not right. So as per my understanding, this test case should fail. Let's run them. If you see now, one test case is pass, one test case is failed. So by this way, we can write unit test case in our C sharp and test our application. Thank you for listening.